Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel. Alright guys, so I get this particular email that we're going to watch. I get it an email from a subscriber slash friend. Thank you John for the video. And he tells me, hey, check it out Steven. Let me know what you think about this guy. Um, now mind you, he calls himself, let's start off by that. He calls himself Audit Them. That's the name of his YouTube channel audit them his specialty his mo method of operation is um filling out um filing out on uh, what they call it FOIA request forms okay his specialty is going to um city halls and doing FOIA requests um i was on his channel just a couple of hours ago checking out his videos and i noticed that um he doesn't do post offices he um does not do police department pretty much like i said his mo is going to city halls to do FOIA requests right which in the beginning i said could it be something productive for the people that watch the videos okay how many of us have had something that broke in the house or in our our vehicles and we um now i don't know about you guys i'm one of those people that like doing my own sh i will try to do the repair myself first it's a way of saving money okay and if i can't get the repair done and if i feel i can't do it then i'll go and call me a contractor specifically for that deal now mind you um, before uh, I would go buy manuals and so on. I got a shitload of manuals as we speak. Now, uh-uh, I won't spend $20, $30 on a manual no more. Now I go on YouTube, put on the search what I'm looking for, you know, how to repair, uh, how to solder copper piping. I watched that a long time ago. I never soldered before. I had a pipe freeze on me, a split, water coming out. I said, shit, a plumber's gonna ask for a couple of hundred bucks just to fix that little broken pipe. Well, guys, after watching, I think I watched the video two, three times, and I felt, now, I saw it like nothing, guys. I mean, I, I don't know my opinion. I feel like I'm a pro. I got my own little tank. I got my little tools. <laughs> I did good, guys. I did good. I saved money. Um, and I feel good that I did the job myself, okay? So, again, you know, you got these how-to. I don't know about you guys. Like, I, I can only speak for myself. And some of us, you know, really don't use YouTube other than that we want to watch the frauditors. Well, if you didn't know, guys, if you ever have a uh, something that you... Um, something break in your house or your vehicle and you're trying to you you feel handy you feel like you can play with your hands they got thousands of videos out there and my god i'm one of those people i don't know if that means i'm dumb i i could read a manual like i said i got a shitload of manuals and it, sometimes it's a little awkward because you know you're trying to look at the little picture that they provide and um you're trying to figure it out okay on your own but you watch a video you watch somebody do it right there with your own eyes you watch it being done the repair my god it does wonders okay so with this knucklehead here i said okay you know maybe he's doing something good for the people that watch his videos he is like like a how-to video if you need information from the government or from your city hall this is what you got to do and so on but you know you know what's unfortunate is his whole attitude that's the only thing that i noticed with this guy here i said maybe there is a uh maybe there is a demand for that where you know maybe one of us may need some kind of information and we don't know that we can go to our local government and request a form we have that right to do that okay i don't know if any of you guys have ever needed anything from the government and didn't realize that we are entitled we have that right i should say to go request those forms you know that information let's say so again i say not not to make this guy look like he's doing something productive because i'm going to make comments about the fact you see he has a body camera on him right i could live with that guys I could live with anybody having a body camera on them and they want to go communicate with me or or Tom, Dick, and Harry with a body cam. Police are where every... All cops now... My local police department has them. I don't know. Maybe there's still police departments that don't have them. But let's just say, again, I say, I could live with that. 
what I don't like and what bothers me, and I purposely think they do it to like get a reaction, is you see he has his um camera phone out, right? Why do you need that? If you got the body camera right there, that does it all right there, guys. And you know when you, I don't know. To me, it's like that shit of holding uh, your your you're holding your phone in one hand and you're communicating with somebody. I don't know. That to me is like rude. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. But I just can't see doing that. You know what I mean? Going to try to communicate with somebody and you got a goddamn camera phone aimed at the person that you're communicating with, it could be a little awkward. Okay? So again, I say if the guy's got a camera phone, a uh, body camera, whatever, why do you need to, 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 to have a, a camera phone aimed at somebody? And again, I say I think they purposely do it to, to get that rise out of that person. That's my way of you know thinking maybe i'm wrong so be it anyway again i say with this guy throwing these videos out there in my mind i said could there be some you know some good out of this his whole personality sucks and some of you might might know this individual here might i've seen his videos before and there's no need for me to explain to you that his attitude towards um anybody who gets their uh, pay from taxes he talks to them like shit like they owe him the world and i don't know i just can't it's not in my nature to be like that but total dick total ass i'm sorry for the language ladies anyway let's check out the video you'll get a better understanding of what i'm talking about um I thought there'd be some good out of this, but no, he's another asshole just like the rest of the fraud it is. Let's kick this video off. What am up though guys, it is your favorite auditor, audit them, the one who encourages you to audit them. I'm here at the Village Hall of Melrose Park. I don't believe I've been here before, but we are conducting a 1A, I am in Illinois. I am not in my uniform at all, however I do have my CB, my clipboard. Wait a minute. Secretary of State is no longer located in his building. Okay. Directory. Hey, how you? <clears throat> Got a security at the front door. See, I don't like talking to security guards or cops about him yeah, I'm here for this or I'm here for that no I just like to walk right through and conduct my business all right that's my first thing that I don't like about this individual here and as we all know all frauditors they're fighting for that same that same cause they want to be able to go into any government building without being asked any questions now mind you I understand listen in a perfect world that would be great but nowadays with the shit that we're going through no, I think there should be some questions asked. Where are you going? What you know? We need to make sure that this is not some asshole that's trying to um, do something evil by planting something, or you know what I'm getting at, guys. So that ideal of walking in there, you heard him. I don't like that. You don't want to talk to security or cops. You just want to walk in, do your thing, and that's it. So his whole personality, right from the get go, is working against him. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, I don't think I've been here before, though. But, anyway. We got, we got everything going on over here. Again, I do have my body cam. Take a photo of all this public records over here. for employment. Let me grab a few of these right here. Hello, hi. What's your first name? My name? Yeah. Marlene. Marlene, okay. I need to... Say that again? You're not giving me permission to record you? Yeah. That's good. Okay. Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, what's your first name? Oh, well, what can I help you with? Sure. 
I need, I have here five ILCS 140. May I ask what your first name is? No. May I ask what this is in regard to? I can help you. But you're not willing to provide your first name? I don't have to give you my name. Okay. This, there is a service to help you, sir. What can I help you with? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, 5 ILCS 140 subsection 3. Um, all records for inspections and copying received by a public body shall immediately be forwarded to... Oh, that's not it. Wait a minute. I need to, I need to start off with purchasing. Ma'am? Purchasing. I'm just letting him in. Purchasing. Uh, may I ask what your name is? My here? name is Terry. Terry, what's your job title? My job title? Yeah. I don't have a title. Oh no. Okay. Oh, Ma'am, I need to purchase. I need to start off by purchasing three signed and dated oath of offices, certified copies. Hmm. You, uh, what's going on? How can I help Hello, you? Hello. Hi. hi. What's your first name? Dude, you might have um, written that phone down. Yeah, you don't have a permission to record people without their authorization, so I'd appreciate you taking that down. I do have permission right here. Okay. Put the thing down. Huh? Put the thing down. All right, it's okay. Sir, it's I could okay. film in here. Okay, what did you need, sir? Do not escalate with me. I would ask for your superior. Try right, funny, okay. I will cuff you. I don't fool around. Cuff me for what? You find out. It's okay. It's, what, um, what did you need, sir? Okay. May I ask what your job title is, ma'am? I'm the HR director. HR? Okay, good. Um... I need to purchase three signed and dated oath of offices to start three off with. Three signed and dated what? Oath of office. Oath of office. Yeah, right now we're going to make it four since he wants to cuff me for no reason. Okay, what? I don't understand. I, I just, but you just don't made, understand you just what made, the issue is. Okay. The issue is I'm here to conduct official business. Okay. He just said he's going to cuff me okay. for no reason. I don't like that. I don't respect you. Okay, and well, right now I'm going to ask for your superior. I'm set you out well, that minute. would be the police chief. But anyways, okay. what is I don't I don't even know what is he, what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, so a signed and dated oath of office. Do you have an oath of office? Do I? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Good. You need it first of all. Anything so, you need, you need to uh, anything like that. It'd be like the oath of office that the mayor signs and whatnot. Yeah. Right. right. And the police signs an oath of office. Okay. Well, you right need now, to he, submit a FOIA for that. Okay. Freedom of Information Act, and we have five days to respond. Yeah, right. Would well, you like me to hand you an application for that? Um, I'll take five FOIA, FOIA forms. Well, you could do. Oh, you could do them all in one, sir. Okay. No, no, no. I prefer to do them all each separate individual form. Okay, just forms. give them five. However, okay. however, ma'am. Um, okay. I also need before I do that there. Well, I'm going to need his info because I'm going to immediately put a complaint on him. There's no way he's he's coming and talking to me like that. He doesn't know who I am. He doesn't you, know exact, what I am. Exactly, exactly sir. But you're, you're coming in. Kiss, sir, can I say you are coming in rather hostile. So he is here for security purposes. So, you know, we just, I apologize. We're going to get you whatever you Wait need. Wait a minute. But what did I do or say that makes you think it's, it's your hostile? It's your voice is escalating voice? and you're right raising your said, voice. Right after he said that I would be arrested or that I would be put out, I'm talking, okay? Mm -hmm. And then again, I got the video from the second I walked in. So there's people that lie and there's the truth that shows in the videos, okay? Yes. Ma'am, I tell you what, here, I'll make it real simple. Okay, if, here are your FOIAs. What else can we do for you? Okay, sure. Well... You know, the so thing. You, are you familiar how these work? That's fine. Freedom of information. So you fill fine. them out. We turn those in, okay. and they have five days to respond to you. Ma'am, if but only you know, if only you know that I am conducting official business. Okay. He's going to find out later because he just thinks he could bully people. You're the only person I'm afraid Carl, of. Jesus just... Christ, no other clown. That's my lord. Well, then okay. you should respect just... people. Okay, you should respect your oath of office. You can't just ask somebody to you leave. You can't the people place and just demand stuff. Sir, what did I demand? What is it that I demanded? Yeah, you're gonna talk the whole you don't know what okay, you're talking about. Okay, so what about. else did you need, sir? Okay. So guys, do not do not call and voice your, your concerns here with Mel, Melrose Park. Um, so let, let's get this straight here, man. All right, so that's another thing that I'm not happy with when these guys do that bullcrap of core flooding. 
okay? Um, as we all know, uh, their subscribers will do it, okay? That bull crap of um, do not call them. In reality, he's asking his subscribers to call. Now, I don't see why, because the girls have been very professional with him, okay? Um, the ideal is um, he make, uh, he'll make a comment, as you will see, about them not giving their name up. Well, when they ask him for his name, he doesn't want to give that information up. So it should be both ways. That's the way I work, guys. You know what I mean? You got to give respect to get respect. You want their name? You, you, it, it's only, I don't know, back in the days, it wasn't even just your first. You told uh, Stephen Familia. I'm Steven Familia. How you doing? What's your... That's the way it was. Back in the old days, that's the way it was. It was a sign of respect. Now it's this bullshit because it's your policy. It's in your policy to tell me what your name is and what your position is here. The policy, mind you, the policy that these guys don't have any respect for unless it works to their advantage. But again, I say, this call flooding bullcrap, I don't like it. And there's really, I don't even see... Why the hell he would even make that comment? Because the girls have been very professional with him. The idea that he's knocking heads with the cop. I don't see anything wrong with what the cop made a comment about cuffing him. Um, so be it. Okay, that's something that, that you got to deal with the police on after you do your little foyer business. But again, if you look at this guy from the minute he walked in, the way he's um, conducting himself. Guys, if I didn't know better, I would think this was his first day doing it. Now, the guy's been out here for a few years doing this bull crap. A couple of years, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so, you know, look how he's been stumbling over his words and, and so on. And he wants to be considered professional? Eh. Let's get back to the video. Um, um, what was your first name? I didn't give it. Okay, do you mind? Christine. Okay, good. Ma'am, my initial visit here... I came in, I'm taking pictures of these public records over here, okay? This is all public record. Okay. He's a form of public record, regardless of form or characteristic. Okay, so I came in here. The first thing I, I asked for, hello, hi, ma'am, may I have your name? She told me her name. I'd like to know who I'm talking to and what their job title is. I so I could know. So I could know if they have the competence of handling what I'm here for. Okay, some, some people don't have competence. So... Um, the thing that I asked for was certified oath of offices. It does not require an oath of, it does not require a FOIA request. However, additionally, like this, this man just pissed me off real bad. I'm not mad. I'm not hostile. Those are false claims you made. There's not a, a single word of disrespect that I said from my five minutes of being in here. Okay. I'm in the building for five minutes conducting official business, and he says he wants to ask me to leave. I understand, but in order to get these, we will need a FOIA. I will give them a to the clerk. Sure, sure. A guaranteed thing is that nobody here needs, um, I don't need anybody's permission to film in here. You, everybody's going to find out that I don't need permission to film. And the next visit that I come over here, there's going to be a change of attitude from everybody. Okay, everybody's so what else welcome. can I do for you? Yeah, then? sure. So I, I, I am going to be filling these out, ma'am. Okay. Okay. These will go, you either can bring these in, and then like I said, they have five days to fill them out. They go through. Right, 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 right. What else did you okay. need? Okay, sure. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's a Here, tight, why don't you tight put them under here. your clipboard? Okay, that, that's fine. So you, I'm not like in the Okay, ma'am, you are, you are head of HR. Correct. Do you have a list, roster of all employees, job duties, and titles readily available? Not their job duties, no. Not job duties. Um, titles and Names, titles, salaries. yes. That also will require a FOIA. You don't have that readily available no, for inspection? No, I do not. Okay. Okay, here we go, ma'am. I it, also... It constantly changes, so I have to run it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, he's on the list roster as well because he's Melrose Police. I will be filing a complaint about him. There's no way he can ask somebody to leave or kick somebody out for them false claims. If I sit here and have a two-way conversation with him, he won't know what he's talking about. Okay. I don't respect that at all. Freedom of information. I do have freedom of voice. I can speak. I can say what I like. I'm not saying anything disrespectful. Okay, what else can I get you? Yep, 3.5 Freedom of, of Information Officers. What's your FOIA officer's first name? It is our clerk, Marianne Palantoni. Oh, okay, cool. Um, each public body shall designate one or more of it. Okay, so Freedom of Information Officers shall develop a list of documents. Yep, that's or, what this is for. No, 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 wait a minute. 
Freedom of Information officers shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. That's what I need. And that's what you need to request on that piece of paper. No, ma'am. It's. Is your, I'll tell you what. Is your FOIA officer presently available? I don't know. If she's here. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll take more pictures of these public records here. You can here. do what you want. And what is your name, yep. sir? I am filing the Freedom of Information does not require first name, last name. Oh, well, well it requires it on this form so that it's at least a contact. No, ma'am, that's not true. Your FOIA okay. officer will set you straight. I respect people who respect me. Well, I'm trying to be very respectful, and I, respect and I don't people, really feel you're being very respectful. And I respect people who disrespect me. However, I'll fill alpha affidavits and complaints. But oh, yes, ma'am, you're, you're, you're trying your best. You're trying your best, but you did make a false, you false claim. Well, now he's creating a public record. Here, look. I'm going to be requesting that, too. Yeah, ma'am, if applicable. <laughs> if applicable. Well, I'm just saying, I just asked for okay. your name. That's all. What's your name and badge number, sir? Can you tell me what's his name, ma'am? I forget the name of my grandma, sir. Okay, you just created a public record. You have to hold that record for 30 days. The first 30 days, if you delete that, it will be a crime. You better make sure you don't end up in hell, amigo. It's not a good place. I didn't like understand it. what you just said. If it's a threat, it's on record. I'm asking you to call your superior, sir. You guys just tell me when you want him out of here, okay? See, that, that's abuse of authority. That's what we don't respect in the United States of America. He has an oath of office to uphold the United States and state constitution. And he's asking you, like you have authority to just ask me to leave while I'm out here filling FOIA forms. You're and not purchasing filling FOIA forms out. You keep reading to me papers. I just need to know how I can help you so we can move this yeah, forward. Yeah, sure. I'm waiting for you to dial your clerk. I'm trying to find Marianne's. Sure. Why don't I have her number here? It's good enough. Okay, what well, Do you guys have Marianne's number? For some reason, it's not in my cell anymore. Excuse me, sir. Sure, not a problem. Ma'am, I'm going to be requesting that camera footage right there, okay? So I need to know, um, let's say, what, what, who sits at this desk here? Uh, I don't know. You have to ask. Okay, yeah, sure. Supervisor. What did you say your first name was? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Didn't. Well, it's on record. See, folks, so here, here's the issue that we're having here. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, here's the issue that we're having. We have unidentified employees. We have from the first, within four minutes of me walking in the building, the police officer over there, which is a, he's a police officer, not a security guard, asking these employees if they want me escorted. You know, it, it's unbelievable the way these people act. And then he went and took a photo with his personal phone. For We're going to request that. Now I have reason to believe he's conspiring, so I'm going to be requesting his last 10 messages sent and received on his personal phone as well. Here goes the sign that says cell phone use is prohibited. But we're not on the phone talking yet. Hello and goodbye. Meanwhile, let me fill these out. Let me pause this. My body camera's still rolling. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, she is yes, out until Monday. She said that if you would like to come back anytime you would like to meet with her, she could make it on Monday. We open at 9. So if you want to do that, she, just let me know what time okay. you'll be here and she'll meet with you. Here's what I'll do here, ma'am. I'll, okay. I'll fill out these FOIA forms here. Okay. I'll get a timestamp copy for my records. Okay. I'll wait five days of compliance. However... I also de do need to do an inspection on the hard copy uh, budget for 2020 with the account numbers. 
that should be readily available and that's a record that shall be furnished immediately i do not have to follow i have to follow these okay well we don't have our accountant is not here your accountant is not here okay we have uh we outsource that you outsource that okay mm -hmm. well you don't have a copy uh, uh, available online unless you check our website i, I would ask you i if would you assume do. it's on our website okay i would ask if you do make a printout copy for me because the first 50 pages are free with the foia act if they do have that online with yep. the foia act you still have to submit a foia for it if it's not if it's online you need any information you need to submit a foia for sure look at what i did here ma'am that's not true but you're not the foia officer so that no right you're, so you're like i said sure. if you want to come back monday she'll be happy to talk yep. to you and get you whatever you need okay cool well do you want me to tell her a time you'll be coming back no because i might the time i come back she's is when, not here all day so right, i right. need to know the time. time i come back ma'am mm -hmm. would be when i'm picking up these hard records here well, you have to submit them first. Yeah, right, right. I know that. But I mean, if you want all these so you things, see, like I said, she can whatever you need, you could put in a FOIA, and we'll be happy to get them to you. Okay, what's the mayor's first name? Ronald Serpico. Ronald Serpico. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds familiar. Ma'am, you see, these are, those are records that show, it says here, shall immediately be disclosed upon request. So that means... Freedom of information. Officer. Right, so listen, listen to this. They're not here, so I don't right, know right, what right, to right. tell you. They're not here, however... Your zoning officer handles books readily available. He doesn't have nothing to do with the FOIA officer. You see how this says public body shall immediately disclose upon request? Look at the officer. He said, you can't come in here and make demands. Well, I'm not making a demand. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for public records that shall be disclosed immediately. That means these okay. employees Again, here. you could talk to our FOIA yep. officer on Monday. I am not okay, the cool. FOIA officer, so yep. you can read me anything right. you want. I, I'm not that's able good. to get you that's the records, you know what I'm saying? That's so good enough. I'm we're trying to help you get what no, 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 you need. No, no, that's good enough. But, but we're not going to talk in circles. So right now, I'm exactly. going to ask you if I could speak to your zoning officers, your zoning officer here. We have a zoning committee, and no, they are not here in the office. Okay, zoning is not here. Your FOIA officer is not here. Well, what if we're zoning for what we have a planning and zoning committee... But what is what do you need? And then I could direct you to the right person. Sure, I'd like to inspect the zoning and ordinances. They're all all our ordinances are online. You can access them yourself. At the, at the current second, ma'am, I'd like to look at the hard copy. I'm not using online at this second. That's why I'm here at the at oh, the building here. Sure. Can... Yep. Not a problem. Thank you. Ordinances regarding. Uh, Ordinance, city ordinances, zoning. You realize it's a book this big? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. It's got tabs in there. There's uh, some tabs I gotta look through. Let me pause this and fill this out. So now that, now that Officer Clown said, you don't owe them nothing and he might be a crook. That's what I just heard him say. You see, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. They owe the citizens everything that they're subject to, which is the Freedom of Information Act. Any public record is open to disclosure. That, that police officer is there for a reason. He should be at Dunkin' Donuts flipping hamburgers. All right, so if I go by the comment that he just made there about uh, they owe the citizen everything, uh, so on, blah, 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 uh, that's where I say he goes wrong because of his personality, his um, expectations, and so on, let's say. That's why, in my opinion, he has a hard time interacting with people. You know what I mean? If you go, I, I, I say this and I mean this because I'm a people person, guys. Uh, I know I have a hard time explaining things. And I think a lot has to do with the fact that here I am trying to explain something to a mic. <laughs> Compared to if you were in front of me, it'd be a whole different ball game, okay? But being self-employed, you kind to uh, you kind of um, you learn how to deal with people, okay? And as we all know, guys, if you um, if you treat somebody, if you come off with like a cocky and shitty attitude, then that's what you're gonna get in return is that same cocky and shitty attitude. But now, guys, if you go there respectful. And you talk to them. Oh my God, I've 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 done it. I've gone into locations and and you can pretty much get whatever you want. They will go all out for you if you communicate with them properly and respectfully. Give them the respect. They're humans. 
they're humans like us. You know, me and you. I, and again, I've, I've, I've always said this, guys. Just because we pay taxes does not give us the right to talk to anybody who, whose pay may be coming from taxes. Gives us the right to talk to them like shit. Belittling them. And so on. They're like us. Guys, the government shits on them the same way the government shits on us. So, you know, if anything, we should be giving them a little bit of, uh, you know, support and understanding for dealing with the bull crap. I, 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 I commend them, you know, to see what this asshole does on a... This is what he does every day. Go to different city halls and um, bust balls. Because he ain't really doing anything. Pro In the beginning, I said, okay, maybe he's doing something productive. He's showing people how to get FOIA forms, how to uh, how to fill them out, and, and so on. You know, something that people can use, like a how-to video. But if you look at the big picture, all he does, my opinion, all he's there to do is to, uh, like, push his authority around. To show them, I think that's basically what he does. Again, I say with the body camera, he doesn't need to have that other camera. You'd be amazed at having that body camera. I have a body camera now, guys, okay? I've gone into locations. It turned off. I, it, the only time I'll turn it on if I'm making a video or whatever. But um, people don't even, they don't notice it. They don't say shit about it. It doesn't bother them. But now you hold a camera in your hand, aiming it at them, and I don't know, something kicks off, something kicks in their mind or whatever. This guy's recording me, why? And so on. So again, I say, I think it's done intentionally to screw with them, okay? Um, and so again, his whole person in general, uh, like I said, I really never bothered with this guy. I never really paid attention to him until John sent me this um, video. And I said, okay, this is somebody I think I can make a few videos out of because of his personality. And um, it's unfortunate that we have people like this that have that shit in their mind that um, they're our government. And, and, and listen, I'm all for that, guys. I understand. They are. They work for us. They're, they're public servants. Granted. But it doesn't mean to talk to them like shit, to belittle them, you know? I mean, they're still human, guys. They are still human. That's my way of thinking. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Now he's saying he sure hopes that I show up at his house. Like, he's, these people are sick, man. This guy is sick right here. That police officer. Police officer at the front. Before I leave, I'm okay. even gonna, my voice is so low and I'm so professional. I'm even gonna lower my voice even a bit more just to show how professional I am and how these cameras. I wanted a copy of the zoning, but I will come back for that uh, Monday, or I, I don't know if I'll be here Monday. Well, I just need to know so I can have the, make sure yeah, that she's sure. here. Sure. I don't want you to come back and have someone not be able to help you again, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyhow, ma'am, I have these two forms filled out here. Um, no, this, this is what you want. This is what you need to fill out. This is not filling it out, just so you know. Ma'am, please, the next time you will be informed from your FOIA officer that this is acceptable. According to the FOIA okay. Act, yep, that, that's all I wanted to hear is okay. There's no standard form. This form here means nothing. Okay, and everything on it means nothing. Uh, what I'm gonna go put here on this page here is that I'll be. All right, so that just threw me off when on uh, the comments that he just made there. Now, understandable, yes, uh, writing on the back of the form there. Um, I've heard that um, even the lady, when I filled out my forms, the lady told me, if you need more space, just turn the page around and write on the back, okay? Uh, it's acceptable, okay? But hear me out, that comment that about, uh, you know, he's trying to make him sound, he's trying to make himself sound like professional, let's say. The form don't mean shit. The standard form does not mean nothing. Then why does he go there in the get-go to uh, request a form? Why not? You, I'm sure everybody has blank pieces of paper, uh, printer paper, uh, black, blank paper, period, at their house. 
uh, write it down in your house and then bring it to the, you know, uh, mind you again, you can do this online, but and then he wouldn't be able to make a video through the internet if he was to file his request over the internet, right? But just the comment that he just made there about um, that form doesn't mean nothing, then why are you going there bitching and moaning asking them for forms when you can pretty much go there with your own blank piece of paper that you brought from home and, and your request written down already? So, I don't know. This guy, like, contradicts himself or whatsoever, and I don't know. I, I don't know how to take this guy because I, thought, I honestly thought in the beginning, damn it, I said, damn, oh, look, he's doing something like a how-to video. That, that'll work great. How to videos is the shit, guys. I, I think I, I think. Well, did I do? I did like maybe three videos. I did some work on my Hummer, um, changing uh, the shifter. Uh, I did a couple of things, and I did how to videos because when I looked online to find uh, the the situation, nobody really. If you go on there looking for uh, work done on Hummers, not too many people have done it. So I said, oh, let me make a video, and it's getting views. It's gotten a few views now, but. Like a how-to videos is something, it's a hot thing, guys. You know, there's people out there that instead of buying a repair manual or whatever, they will go on YouTube and look for the how-to videos. So that's what I thought with this guy. I said, oh, he do, he's doing something that's going to benefit everybody. But he screws it all up with his personality. I think... um I don't know if he was to switch up and, and try to do something productive. You're out there saying that you're out there doing shit for the people. Why not really do something for the people? You know what I mean? Uh, basically, I guess he's doing better by getting reactions, trying to make our employees look stupid. And, you know, there's the market for that. I guess that market is is stronger than uh, all the other markets or whatever. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know. He, he, he's still an asshole. He, he, he's still an asshole in my book. Picking up these records in person. Um, so these are the requests here. Just so I read them out loud. I put today's yeah, date. No sense in reading them out loud to me because I'm just turning them into the Okay, that's fine. Let me put my info here. List roster of all employees, the police officers, oath of office. Basically, all recorded vacant properties, all signed and dated oath of offices of four individuals and the camera footage. Um... I will here. I put. I will pick these records up in person. Okay. Yep. Your shows. It shows the true encounter. Anyway, ma'am. Um. So I will be picking up those records uh, in the time given. Okay. Okay. No have, worries. Have a blessed day. Thank you too. Okay. Where is the police? Is the police uh, department a, a walkway from here? No. <laughs> One it's North not? Broadway. Okay. okay. So it's uh, that's like 19th and Main. So you know. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Sarah, I asked you the last time for your badge. Are you well, willing to you provide your badge? On you. Can I see your driver's license? No, sir, you can't. Okay, then. Good Have time. a good day.